Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to SirenNet Installation Parts. This section here offers a variety of components for you to use in your installations. We offer wire, zip ties and connectors, quick connects for your wiring, butt connectors, again for your wiring harness uses, and also, a very nice, useful item here is an inline fuse retainer. And in this case, it's a waterproof unit and that it's got a locking cap to it to keep condensation out. So I'm going to give you a quick idea of how you can take the wiring here, connectors, zip ties, and zip tie holders, and an inline fuse to make a example harness that you may use for dash lights, grill lights, hideaways, or your auxiliary lights, um, flood spots, what have you. This is a poly loomed two strand wiring harness that we're offering. Go ahead and cut off a section here. And inside this harness, we have two 14 gauge wires. I'll go ahead and strip back the outside sheathing to give you an idea of the two strands inside. So here is the two 14 gauge wires that are inside the harness have a lead, which is easy to ID with the red wrapping, and a ground, which is again easy to ID with the black wrapping. I'm going to go ahead and strip the ends here. And with your wiring, <clears throat> it's always a nice idea to give it a little twist on the end here, just to get all the strands nice and tight. What we'll do here is just snip off this little bit of extra wiring here that we aren't going to need. Yep. So for the black wire here, we're going to take a butt connector, go ahead and slide it on here. Go ahead, give it a nice tight crimp. It's always a nice idea to give it a little pull and make sure your wire is in your connector nice and tightly. That way when you're routing your wires during your installation, you know that you won't have any connectors come loose on you. So that's an example of the butt connector that we have there. So on the lead wire here, I'm going to go ahead and make a quick connect. We have here another set of connectors. There's a male and a female. Actually, what these units do is allow to be plugged together to make a quick disconnect point in your wiring harness. So go ahead and take the male end here. Slide it onto the wiring there. Go ahead and crimp it nice and tightly. Give it a pull, make sure it's on there nice and tight again. And what we're going to do here is take our inline fuse holder. On the end of the pigtail here, we're going to take the female end of the quick disconnect. Go ahead and slide it onto the end of the pigtail there. Again, give it a nice tight crimp. Give it a bit of a pull, make sure it's not going to come loose on you. Go 
and go ahead, slide those together. So and what this does with the quick connect is when you have an inline fuse like we have here, it allows you to have a point where if you ever need to remove your fuse holder or work on your harness at any point in the future, you can slide these apart. It's a nice firm connection. And what this does is it allows you to keep from having to go back in, snip a butt connector that may be on your harness, and then having to go back through and make new connections on your repair. So go ahead and slide that back on. For the other end of the pigtail here, you could extend this to another length of wiring harness or tie this to your accessories, grill lights, auxiliary lights, floods, spots, hideaways, etc. Again, take a butt connector, go ahead and slide that on to the end of the harness. Get a nice crimp. So what we've done there is created a point to affix the inline fuse to the end of another wiring harness length. For holding your wiring harness in place on your vehicle, on your installation, be it in a center console, frame rail, push bumper, or inside your vehicle's interior panels, a nice way to secure your wiring harness is with a set of zip ties and zip tie holders. The holders here, you can either screw them or rivet them onto the surface that you're going to mount them to, or a nice feature is double-sided adhesive that's on the units here. So what this will allow you to do is take a flat surface, go ahead and give it a nice firm press, let's take the other one here, press it nice and firmly. So then what we can do here is the wiring harness we have points where we can now secure it firmly. We'll go ahead and take the zip tie, slide it through the holder, same thing with the other zip tie and holder, <clears throat> go ahead and pull the harness. So it's nice and taut. Go ahead and lock this zip tie. And this zip tie. So as you can see, what this has done is given our harness a nice flat mount against a surface and it won't allow the harness at any point during the installation to come loose, vibrate loose, or become disengaged from the surface that it's affixed to. Go ahead, snip off the end of the zip ties here. And there you go. So again, we've taken two strand 14 gauge harness, butt connectors, male and female quick connect, moisture resistant inline fuse holder, and for securing the harness, zip ties and zip tie holders. So this is a quick example of how you can take some of the components that we're offering on SireNet installation, put them together, and use them to work your vehicle through your installs.